Hey everyone, Cordero Dude, Cohen Man, bringing you another video. Today we're going to finally talk about uh, Beyblade Burst G Revolution, Beyblade G Revolution, episode uh, 36 and onward. Like, the last episodes of the original series, which is episode 52. Basically, I'm only going, we're going to start with episode 40 because... This is a best of series now, the Code Man's Finest, so yeah. I'm sorry I'm skipping, but really, just as a speed dash, currently, at the parts I'm skipping are new character gets in, one of the vil final villain members, Ray meets and discovers the team losing their base, like their base getting destroyed, so they need to build new ones, can't find resources, so they basically, in the ep last episode, the before episode 40, basically, they get a new bay, which looks smaller, and that's an HMS bay, which it's like a different system. A bay, unlike the normal bay so far in the series, uses a launcher that can go left or right, which is kind of unique if you haven't seen the original. But basically, they use it, they launch it, and overpowered. Now getting to episode 40, back to basics. Basically, this episode is the introduction official introduction of Ray, Max, and Daichi's Bay, and they use it. Kai's Bay is currently destroyed. Defeats Brooklyn, but barely took destroyed it if Brooklyn defeated him. And basically the fight is basically Brooklyn's dead, and Kai wants revenge on Brooklyn being injured. So basically the team encounter. They battle. They are now in the getting ready for the Justify Tournament, so the upgrade. And basically, next episode, episode 41, is basically the getting ready to decide who will be the fifth member. And they don't say, and they have a Mr. X subplot, which is like a joke. Really, Grandpa and the Max, but it's funny. But basically, our next episode, episode 42, 42 I think, basically has Daichi battling... Uh, Ming Ming, which is the girl member of the of Bega, and basically Daichi loses. The next episode is Daichi, uh, Max, I mean Ray versus the Archer guy, and the Archer guy wins, which is kind of disappointing. Next up is they have if they lose one more match, they lose. Basically, they defeat him by Max, which is challenge, and they both get knocked out. So it's still two to zero. With one tie. Next up, they use the fifth member. Turned out to be R uh, Kai, who was secretly in one of the previous episodes off screen. Grabs his upgrade and uses the upgrade. And his upgrade is basically his M HMS Bay. He uses it. Gets the defeats. Uh, defeats with all of his strength. Defeats Brooklyn, and Brooklyn gets scarred by it. Next part of the episode is Tyson versus the second guy, or the sports heavy, his family being good at different sports character, which basically break, realizes his dynasty is destroyed as a, his family tradition, destroy his family tradition, but really Tyson defeats him, basically. And being the only character so far to beat up the bay besides Kai, which is disappointing because all the other characters and debut fights with the HMF Bay suck at it, which is kind of disappointing, but it's kind of great. Now we get into the three-part finale. Part one being set up of the finale where everyone's getting ready to discover Brooklyn goes insane. And now for the epic two-parter finale, Brooklyn lives and Biggest Bay Battle something. I forget the name, but great. Big, biggest Bay Battle ever, which really is a statement because this is the longest fight in the entire series. I'm sorry, it's funny, but basically they battle and basically they destroy and bro they battle Brooklyn. Brooklyn opens another dimension, which is the most ridiculous thing in the series, but it's kind of great. And finally, the... Tyson wins, even if now they have to fight with their... All their skills are gone. They have to fight with waiting for someone to stop spinning. And basically, 
Both can stop fitting, and the winner is Tyson, and he's once again <coughs> best character in the series. I mean, basically defeated him. Brooklyn and for basically great, and now Brooklyn being his his brother hero now joining the team as a plot point, and Boris's bigger plans are now destroyed, which is kind of good. And the series ends off with a scene where the BBA recuperating and getting smaller, but it's still gonna take a, a long time for return. And the series ends where Tyson and Kai have that one lot final battle. So who's the best? It's a great series. I like the original Beyblade, and G Revolution is the best part of it, even if season two sucks, and I think it sucks because it, it's good war building, continuity building, but as a character importancy, all the characters are re not there from season one except for top, the four main and, tight, and Matt, uh, Kenny, so it's basically five returning characters, and the rest are all supporting characters, in my opinion, with just to know, and hope you like this video. I'm sorry this took a while, but this is actually my thoughts on the uh, quick thoughts on Beyblade G Revolution, uh, the whole se not the whole series, but c catching up. Hope you like this catch up of me finally doing Beyblade Burst. I mean Beyblade G Revolution. Wondering if I might do Burst maybe eventually. Only time will tell. Wink, wink. This is the government saying bye bye, and I hope I see you guys next time. Now officially bye bye for now.